Hi, I'm Brent Atwater and I'm an animal communicator and welcome to Pet Loss TV. Now before I forget, do go back and look at our archives. We have a lot of shows that will answer questions that will help heal your heart. Also, go over to Pet Loss Radio and you will find our sister station that has 24-7 podcasts that will also help heal your heart. Today's question comes up eh, every now and then and we want to be sure we do cover this. A lot of people when they're so distraught really want their pet to come back as a human. But that's not possible in this lifetime. Even if you subscribe to the yogic transmigration, which goes from a cell to a plant, to a bird, to an animal, to a human and on, or the yogic tradition that does the same, again, it's called transmigration. Google it and you can tell what the definition is, but it means going from a cell to a human being. But what they leave out is that takes multiple, keyword, multiple lifetimes to do and multiple evolutions throughout various incarnations. So if your pet died and you're thinking, oh, I wish Fluffy would come back as my child or as my brother or as my sister or as my boyfriend, that's not going to happen because a pet has a lower vibrational frequency. Now that doesn't diminish them. It just means in their body, it takes a lower electromagnetic frequency to sustain a pet body than it does to sustain a human body. So to go from the pet frequency to the human frequency, which healthy is 68 to 72 megahertz, is quite a leap. And that takes many evolutions. So the answer is, can a pet come back as a human? No, not in this incarnation. Maybe many incarnations from now and many cellular evolutions from now, but in your lifetime, the probability is not. Thank you for staying with us today and welcome to Pet Loss TV. Subscribe and keep tuned to all our questions each week. Bye-bye.